Hi, my name's Brad. I'm an applications engineer with Keithley Instruments and Tektronics. In this short video, I'll be going over a comparison between two different six and a half digit DMMs. The Keithley DMM 6500 and the Keysight 34461A, the successor to the 34401A DMM. I hope I can help ease your decision making process. Both DMMs feature all the basic measurement functions you'd expect, but we think the DMM 6500 has more than a few great features you'll love, including digitizing functions that allow you to measure voltage or current over the full range of the instrument at up to 1 million readings per second. I'll show you that a little later, but let's get started with the current measurement. Here I've placed both DMMs into the same circuit to measure current. We're seeing the higher resolution of the 6500 here. With a 10 microamp range, you have a minimum resolution of 10 picoamps. You can be sure of this increased sensitivity for longer as well. The DMM 6500 is spec'd out to two years if you need to go a while between calibrations. How about a resistance measurement? Here each DMM is measuring a 0.1 ohm shunt resistor in 4 wire mode. The DMM 6500's 1 ohm range easily gives all the details on our low resistance. The 34461A, however, is almost at the bottom of its 100 ohm range. For both of these measurements, by the way, I've manually set the 6500 to a sample rate of 10 PLC to match the 34461A, where you're limited to 5 preset sample rates. Let me give you a taste of the digitize function now, a feature unique to the DMM 6500. This is a current waveform that I just captured from that pink Bluetooth device in the corner. You can interact directly with the data using the large touchscreen and even place cursors to do easy analysis. Like determine the average current, almost 6 milliamps here. The internal memory of the 6500 allows you to store up to 7 million readings, compared to 10,000 for the 34461A. You can even insert a USB drive and capture a screenshot in, literally, a couple seconds. Going around to the back of the instruments, both DMMs come with Ethernet and USB support by default. If you prefer to use GPIB, each instrument has optional communication cards you can add. The DMM 6500 also accepts cards for RS-232 and Keithley's TSP link. Keithley also offers a free IDE test script builder to help you write your own scripts and send them directly to the DMM 6500 or load them via a USB stick. If you'd rather not write code, Keithley's Kickstart 2.0 software includes full support for this DMM and many other Keithley instruments in a similar vein to Keysight's Benchview and is free with the purchase of a DMM 6500. And I can't forget to mention this slot here, a unique feature on the 6500 where you can add a switch card like our 2000 scan card for measuring on up to 10 different channels. The DMM 6500 is backwards compatible with all our previous DMM scan cards. I hope this video has been helpful in showing you just some of the differences between the Keysight 34461A and Keithley's DMM 6500. For more information, like a full datasheet or our guide on using a 6500 to replace Keysight DMMs, visit tech.com slash DMM6500. Thanks.